The unwell astronaut has returned to Earth. Following a medical incident last week, NASA made an unprecedented call to return the Crew 11 astronauts home earlier than scheduled, prompting a week of preparation before undocking from the International Space Station, re-entering the Earth's atmosphere, and splashing down in the Pacific Ocean. But this isn't all, because just after splashdown, NASA provided an update on the mission and its crew, so let's take a look at all the details. Crew Dragon Endeavour, the capsule for this mission, undocked from the Harmony module of the International Space Station just after 2200 Coordinated Universal Time on Wednesday, marking the beginning of the end for the five and a half month mission. About two hours prior, the Crew 11 Quartet of Commander Zena Cardman, Pilot Mike Fink, Mission Specialist Kamiya Yui, and Mission Specialist Oleg Platonov said goodbye to their fellow crewmates from Soyuz MS-28 and closed the hatch to their spacecraft. Soyuz MS-28 arrived in November and is composed of Commander Sergei Kutsverchkov, Flight Engineer Sergei Mikhaev, and Flight Engineer Chris Williams. These three are remaining on the space station, keeping up with its day-to-day -day upkeep tasks and performing science, as would be expected, on the orbital laboratory. They'll soon be joined by Crew-12, NASA's next mission to the ISS. And we'd love it if you could join Breaking Space by pressing subscribe down below. The reason for this expedited return was because of a medical situation which took place last Wednesday afternoon, January 7th. If you want to dive into the specifics of the situation, we made an explainer at the time which is linked in the corner, but in brief, a member of Crew 11 suffered a medical event which was not related to spacewalk preparations or ISS operations and is now stable. In fact, during the change of command ceremony on Monday, all crew members were present, which was wonderful to see. To respect their medical privacy, the crew member and medical incident are not being identified by NASA. As emphasized last week, SpaceX conducted a standard return and deorbit procedure. It was just a few weeks earlier than planned, allowing for the unwell astronaut to be assessed by doctors on the ground where a full suite of medical equipment is available. This meant that after Dragon backed away from the station, the crew had to wait a few hours before the final deorbit burn, which took place just before 0800 Universal Time today, or midnight local time, utilizing the Draco thrusters in the front of the Dragon spacecraft. The capsule then reoriented itself for re-entry and ditched its unpressurized trunk, which went without issue. The anticipated communications blackout also passed as planned. As you may be aware, this is caused by the buildup of plasma around the vehicle as it enters Earth's atmosphere, traveling several kilometers per second. Once into the atmosphere, Dragon Endeavour successfully started its parachute deployment sequence, which began with the drogue chutes to provide that initial deceleration, which were then followed by the four main parachutes. These then reefed open, as we have seen many times at this point. And just about an hour after their deorbit burn, Crew 11 were back on Earth, splashing down in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of California. SpaceX's marine recovery assets were out in full force to greet them, with the capsule being scooped up by Shannon, the Dragon recovery ship. After being greeted by the team, the astronauts departed Dragon, boarded a helicopter, and were then flown back to dry land for the first time since they left the Kennedy Space Center all the way back in August of last year. Following splashdown, NASA provided an update on the mission, as they usually do. All crew members are currently undergoing the routine post-splashdown medical evaluation. The crew member of concern is doing fine. We will share updates on their health as soon as it's appropriate to do so. Uh, I'll do say one thing that we did make a decision um, prior to today, a couple of days earlier, that we were bringing the crew to a medical facility off the San Diego area. They'll stay there overnight, and we expect to bring the crew back to Houston on Friday, obviously pending the medical. It was great to see the calm and collective professionalism of all the teams supporting the space station, because if we didn't know anything about the medical event beforehand, you wouldn't have been able to tell that anything was out of the ordinary. I've been Ryan Caton for NSF. Thanks for watching and goodbye.